Welcome back to another Smart Money Monday. Today we're going to learn about an important checklist for the holidays. Not your shopping list, your end of year financial checklist. And to help us with that, we have Keen Santos from Bank Boy. Hi, Keen. How hey, are Steve. you? Nice to see you again. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so why is the end of the year such a good time to do one of these financial checklists? So like anything else, it's a good time to just kind of reflect on the previous year and start planning for next year. Okay, so, so what are some of the things that we need to look out for? Um, so aside from overall, just looking at where you were last year versus now, the um, first thing to look at is your spending, right? So look at your spending and see does it meet my expectations, or am I within my budget, and that'll help you better plan for next year. Kind of like a self-evaluation of our financial performance? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So second thing would be looking at your debt picture. And if you have more debt accumulated throughout the year, less debt, are you on track with what you're planning for? It's important to be honest during this time as well. Um, that way you can better plan and prepare for next year. Okay, so what about investments? Should, should we evaluate this year's performance in debt? So for investments, um, a lot of people are doing well over the last decade. Um, look at your portfolio, compare it against the market. Um, but also, if you need some help, don't be afraid to go to a tax advisor or financial advisor to get a second year. Okay, what about your retirement strategy? Great question. So usually for retirement, we're all familiar with 401k plans. Yeah. So if your employer has a match program, uh, make sure you're contributing at least a match. Um, but also consider adding an extra 1% every year will help you save for retirement. Any other things we need to do before we uh, get to the end of the year? Yeah, so there's a flexible spending accounts that okay. some employers offer. These are tax advantage that you contribute to in the beginning of the year for healthcare expenses usually. Uh, you just want to make sure you use those funds and form that line. I imagine we shouldn't forget about things like uh, wills, living trust, that sort of thing, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, general thumb, every five years looking at it, but if it's the end of the year, it's good to kind of take those, those documents, look it over with your family, and just see, you know, hey, do we have the proper insurance, coverage, has there been any life changes, like having children or getting married? Okay. So last to think about as we look back, but also look forward to a great 2020, right, King? Absolutely. <laughs> better plan now, better for next year. All right, thanks, man. Thanks, thanks, you. Thanks, Happy you. holidays, and we'll be right back up soon. Great.